Um, but recruited a team to do that. She, Karina actually just met one of them randomly the other day, one of the guys that was on my business plan team I haven't talked to in years. Um, and we actually, we were in this very room for the business plan competition reception. And I was like thinking we had that thing won. The, one of the old deans here was an investor in Silent Whistle. I was like, this thing's won. And I remember the judges were venture capitalists who had ties to BYU. There was like eight of them. And they were the collective judges. And so there was 10 finalists. We all presented. And then we had this reception in here. And I was standing like right around here. And I went to introduce myself to one of the venture capitalists. And he sat there and told me how terrible my idea was. And he was like spitting into my face, like just this is so stupid and government, you know, mandated laws or, you know, or, or companies are just a terrible idea. I've invested in these. Just, you know, take your losses and go home now. And it's like, you know, you get a lot of that as an entrepreneur. Like she said, you have to, you have to be kind of irrational. And when smart people tell you things like that, you just have the ability to ignore them, uh, which is what I did at the time. And we ended up not winning the business plan competition, but I'm happy to report that the three finalists are all dead. So none of them did anything, <laughs> which I am secretly quite happy about. Not so secretly happy about, I guess. Um, but then later on, we ended up winning the Student Entrepreneur of the Year competition, so we got a little bit of redemption. Um, but what's funny, so that guy was spitting in my face is now the largest shareholder in Allegiance, a guy named Spencer Tall, who Kareen knows well. And you probably, when I say spitting in my face, you get that. That's just how he is. He's a pretty animated dude. Uh, 